Hi, this is Suze Love and Tarot. Happy Easter for those of you who uh, celebrate Easter. And today I am going to do Angels Among Us. And we're going to get a spark of grace for each sign. And uh, we'll do a uh, heart card. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and shuffle these. Oh, they're already trying to come out. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> okay. All right. So let me go ahead and shuffle them. And then I'll pick one for each sign. All right. And then uh, shuffle these two one more time. Ooh, they're talking. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's start with Aries. See the humor. Seize every opportunity to laugh. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, let's see what you got here. Okay, Archangel Shamuel, unconditional love, self-love, heart healing. Okay, so this is Aries, but what I, I'm picking up here is that there are a lot of people from different zodiac signs harnessing this energy, and um, it's, it's time to release the struggle, right? <clears throat> And the way to move into that is unconditional love. Okay, and then that heals the body. Okay, and here's self-love too, right? Self-love, self-care, those are all important things. Okay, let's see. Compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. Woo! Okay, so it's all about love, Aries. <laughs> is love on your mind <laughs> okay all right so um wow so that's like compassion and that's unconditional love and ca compassion okay that's beautiful you demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love Ooh. okay let's keep going now we're on Taurus. <laughs> okay. Feel like you're you're in some sort of posture here. <laughs> At least this card is is it reflecting? Okay. Okay, so Cobra is, um, has a lot of symbolic meaning, um, but today it's coming up here as uh, charging that physical body uh, with that chi energy, right? And um, so uh, sometimes when we're spending energy in things other than uh, neutral to positive, that can uh, be depleting, right? So... Um, what is beautiful is the passion that's here okay so you've got three six and nine so that's um completion on something okay all right so we've got um it's, it's kind of like a renewal energy so um so you're gonna probably feel like getting out more and um, enjoying the outdoors. Okay, here is forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Okay, let's get you a spark of grace. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Okay. 
Have compassion for people who are suffering. Ooh, okay. So sometimes when we get all caught up in our own stuff, right, it's hard to uh, extend or look elsewhere, right? And we may not understand uh, their point of perception, but uh, somewhere we can always find that spark of compassion, right? Okay. Now, what's interesting is uh, Aries got, okay, so we just did Aries, and they got unconditional love and um, compassion. And so that's interesting. So that's kind of spirit showing you the link, how we're all link, linking together, right? Okay, so it's like that fire energy, and then here it's linking in. This looks kind of fiery, too. It's talking about fierceness, uh, rebuilding. Okay, so um, it's like connection, right, is a message, too. Okay, so I'll leave you with that. Okay, now we're going to um, uh, Gemini. Be grateful for what you have. Ooh, I think you're doing that, though. Okay. Some of you are. Okay. So that could be the little things, just like enjoying the moment, right? Having your uh, cup of tea or whatever it is. Enjoying that. Okay. Ooh, goddess of Kuan Yin. 33. It breaks down to a three. Kindness, compassion, and divine mercy. Ooh, okay, so that's interesting. So there's a link here. Aries had compassion, Taurus had compassion, and now you have compassion. Okay, so I feel like the message is the link, how we're all connected. And what we're doing with our own energy can affect others too. So that's nice. Kindness is here. Uh, compassion and divine mercy is available. Ooh. Wow. Okay. So, Goddess Kuan Yin. Let's pick up a Kuan Yin card. Play with me. Okay. So, this is a Kuan Yin uh, card, and, uh, and, it, and she's saying, play with me. Okay, so that's spirit. Like, spirit is always... Uh, engaging with you, right? Okay, so, and your awareness to it opens it up. So, uh, right, so if you're paying attention throughout the day, too, you can get these messages and these playful moments with spirit. Okay, ooh, I like that. Okay, so anytime um, you feel like you're about to buck horns with somebody. Okay. Tap into your emotions and connect with this energy and just flow, right? Okay. That's what I'm getting. And here there's an orange uh, sash. And orange came up in Taurus. And uh, there... In one of their cards, they had fierceness. So um, I feel like that's a story of the past. And now you're moving into this more like, it's like masculine and then moving into the feminine, uh, you know, and they're showing me like Tai Chi, like moving with the flow of air and just like, flowing movements, right? Okay, that's what I'm getting. Woo! <laughs> I started moving my hands. <laughs> okay, so it's something like that too. And uh, if you're creative and you're doing and working with your hands, this might be a nice way to just kind of move and feel spirit, right? Uh, tai Chi or, um, you know, uh, something like that. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay. Because also, too, when our hands, right, if you're on the phone or whatever, there's um, 
So you can flow that your circulation, right, with your hands through movement. Okay, so there's something with that here. Okay, so now we're moving on to cancer. Remember that how you respond to things is within your control. Okay. Yeah. That's the thing, right? We're the driver's seat of our emotions and how we react and everything. And we like to point the finger a lot of times in the past I've seen. But, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Everybody's done it. <laughs> Right, maybe not everybody, but a lot of people have, right? Okay, so um, in the past, let's keep that in the past. <laughs> I feel like that's important. Okay, so, so that's accountability too, right, for your own actions. Expression, okay, expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Woo! Okay. I feel building energy. Okay. It's like crescendo. Okay. Ooh, and there's a rainbow here. Okay. All right. Archangel Raphael. Two. Okay. So two. Okay. Two is a nice number. Okay. So here's Mercury. So communication, collaborations, also uh, healing your physical apparatus, right? Being in tune with your body, mind, and spirit, to, and being in tune with spirit to let your body naturally heal through this pure source. Um, okay, so that's interesting. The other day I did a reading, and there was a pelican, and it was something about gobbling a fish. And then here is a fish on the arm. Okay, so I'm getting like fishing in a lake. Is that bass or trout? Okay. Okay. Anyway. Wow, there's a anchor on tattoo on his neck so i feel like you want to anchor your love somewhere for some of you okay and it looks like here there's some sort of um so but it past relationships some of you didn't come without tears right okay that's what i'm picking up okay but this is green Ooh. okay so some of you i'm pulling in leo energy here and cancer sign Okay, so wow, it's all about the connection today, the message, how we're linking together. Okay. Ooh, okay, so Mercury, we've got, okay, so that could be also Gemini energy here. Okay, so um, you might have had it like a twin flame type energy uh, happen, but the good thing is, you know, that you can learn from it and grow with them, um, or move on. Right. But sometimes even twin flames meet up, uh, in other lifetimes or at a later time. Right. Okay. That's, that's what's coming through here. Okay, so you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. Okay, now we are on Leo. Archangel Azrael, death and rebirth, Scorpio energy. Okay, transitions and life changes. Okay, so... You might be all about the family right now and, and getting your work stuff together. Here's life changes and rebirth. So it's like going from win winter into spring. And then um, here's, this is transition. So it's all about the change here. Okay, so some of you, this is like, 
shoring up your ego and self-esteem, uh, being open to viewpoints of others, and you don't have to take it in, right? You can just observe it, but, um, but still having awareness. Okay, so I feel like they're asking me to read the book here on this one. Okay, so let's see. 14. Okay. Archangel Azrael's name means angel. Okay, angel of death. While he is a powerful guide and a comforter in times of grief and loss, he turns up during his physical death and also supports you during all times of change. Life transitions and during that difficult period between one thing ending and the next not yet beginning, Archangel Azrael can offer you comfort and strength at the completion of a cycle during big shifts and transformations. He is also a powerful ally when working with mediumship and calling on your loved ones in spirit. The Oracle You are journeying from one chapter to another. Let go of the old and prepare to step into the new. One door is close, closing and another is opening. Step through. Okay. Ooh, that, that was a message in another reading. Okay. Love and relationships take time to grieve for those who have lost through death, divorce, breakup, falling out, or simply growing apart. Let go and release relationships and people that you know are no longer right for you in your life at this time. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so call on this angel. Okay. And you don't have to give it a name. It could be just the angel within, right? Okay. Uh any time you can call on that uh pure source energy within. Okay, so embody this angel by taking time to grieve for what has been lost, giving yourself time to heal and process, letting go with grace, looking forward with hope. Okay, let's get another, uh, yeah, hope, right? Let's get another one of these um, grace things. Set an intention each morning to make a day a good one. Okay, I like that one. Okay, let's get a heart card. Commitment. You dedicate yourself to beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your every being. Ooh, some of you might be moving towards a commitment. That might be the change. Wow. Okay, so we are going into spring here, so uh, we are in spring. Okay, so uh, it's time to let go if you've been hanging on to that kind of stagnant energy, right? And that's what we've learned, right? When people don't handle their grief, right, whatever it is, divorce, anything like that, that can affect love, money, all kinds of things, right? So, and then that could be how you're treating other people too, right? If we don't feel good. Okay. So that's important because on the globe, on the global scale here, um, you know, there's stuff going on and that started from a certain person, a handful of people who, uh, didn't manage their own, sadness and grief and things like that and then uh it caused others to suffer too so <clears throat> it's important to manage our own energy right okay yeah let's get one more card Okay. All right. So it's like you got the fire card ignition. So ignite, right? 
have a plan of action and line up your wisdom with your heart, right? And then this is the energy, right? And your sovereignty, okay. Aligning that moon with the sun. All right, now we're, okay, so we're on. Okay. Virgo, take time to reflect on everyday miracles. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. Archangel Sandalphon. Music. Ooh, I like that one. Earth Star. Answered prayers. Okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> I like it. Okay. All right. So I feel like someone who's interested in you um, I feel like a youthful energy. I don't know if they're younger, but I feel a youthful energy. Okay. All right, so for somebody, okay. All right, responsibility. You are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. Yes. Let's get another one. <laughs> Transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. Woo! Okay, I like that. Okay, I like that one a lot. Okay, all right, so um, let me read that one real quick. 13. Archangel Sandalphon is the angel who can deliver your prayers to the divine on your behalf. He is the angel of music and the bridge between heaven and earth. Working with the earth star chakra, Archangel Sandophon can help you activate and ground your energy into earth in a deeper and more conscious and connected way. This can help you stay grounded in the truth of who you are and your own soul purpose and path. Archangel Sandophon is a powerful angel to call upon whenever you feel your prayers are not being heard. Okay, the oracle. You are a bridge between heaven and earth. You are here and you're here to seed and anchor the light on this earth and make a positive difference to the world. Ooh, yesterday I had a bunch of seeds stuck on my uh, outfit. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see. Embody the energy of Archangel Sandalphon by staying grounded, moving through the world, knowing you are a powerful bridge between heaven and earth, uh, talking to the divine daily, making your life a living prayer. Ooh, I like that. Playing or listening to music as a form of divine communication. Okay. like that okay all right so moving on okay so now we are on libra okay baba yaga purpose you possess a determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love okay let's get it so you are showing love through your actions. That's a, de a demonstrating love. Okay. Give thanks that you are alive. Yes. Let's get another one. Make a list of all the possessions that bring you joy. I don't know. That one felt funny. Okay, let's get another one. Create a sacred space in your home where you can spend time alone. Okay. All right, so let's... This is important. 
creating space so you can spend time with spirit. The thing that, let's back up on that one about making a list. Let's make a list of the things we appreciate, right? That brings you joy. Okay. So I feel like that's better because I feel like there's some sort of energy here that it's like grabbing energy showing up, like mine, that kind of energy. So, um, like the Buddhist practice non-attachment, right? Okay, so it's you don't have to get, go that far, but um, it's some happy medium where you're... Um, Because if you look at the word possessions and possessive, right? They kind of, um, that's what I'm picking up here. So let's watch out for that. And what you want to do is create that space for yourself so that you can move into, um, and this could be just moment to moment. It doesn't have to be just a space in your house. This could be just creating space in your mind so that spirit can engage with you, right? And then you can pick up on the impulses that are for you. Okay. All right. So let's read Baba Yaga 25. Ooh, Baba Yaga is often described in Slavic myths as a terrifying old witch <laughs> who ate people. Oh my God, what is this? All right, Libra. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but in spiritual circles, we now understand the duality of her nature. Okay, so yes, she is the uh, has the potential to harm, but also to heal. Okay, and healing begins with self, right? Okay, so she can frighten, but she can also comfort. We are now reclaiming her as a goddess as we reclaim our own inner wise and wild woman, which you can, of course, reclaim no matter your gender. For centuries now, which has been used as a hurtful, hateful expression to describe usually a woman. Okay, again, we are reclaiming this word and remembering its true meaning. A person who believes in their own power, their own ability to create their reality and destiny. These old myths have taught us to fear power, uh, powerful women. But we know now that we no longer have to fear Baba Yaga. In fearing her, we only fear ourselves and our divine feminine wild wisdom. Oh, that's interesting because last week, a lot of the readings were like, uh, uh, bring in that feminine energy with the masculine. Okay. And if there's fear there about that, then you wouldn't, right? Oh, okay. So in fearing her, we only fear ourselves and our divine feminine wild wisdom. Ooh, and wisdom came up in the Virgo reading, didn't it? Was that Virgo? Wait. Responsibility, transformation. No, that was Leo. Okay, so you might want to go see Leo. Okay, that was Leo. Yep, okay. All right, so opening our arms to Baba Yaga is to reclaim our divine feminine power, our sovereignty. Woo! Okay, so sovereignty. Yeah, you might go see uh, Leo. Our right to choose our own path and the power and blessing of aging. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's this energy too. It's like to know it all, right?